Well, hello, everybody. Welcome. Um, welcome to the Legs Matter Roadshow. Now, this is a really exciting event that we're putting on, and I'm really delighted to have with us today Elliot and Kate, uh, you know, in combination with myself to sort of tell you all about it. Uh, we've been super excited about this for quite some time, and it's an absolute delight to be able to launch this roadshow on the first day of Legs Matter Week. Hurrah! We're finally here. The middle of June, the sun is shining, or maybe not, depending on where you are, but we've got sunshine inside ourselves because we're ever so excited about this roadshow. Um, I'm just going to introduce ourselves and then I'm going to share a presentation. So my name's Joanne Casey. I'm a podiatrist. I work with the Royal College of Podiatry. I'm also a member of the Royal College of Podiatry. Um, Kate, do you want to introduce yourself? Thank you. Hi, I'm Kate Williams. I'm a senior lecturer in tissue viability at the University of Huddersfield, and I work as a tissue viability specialist nurse in Leeds. Thank you, Kate. And Elliot? Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Elliot Dixon. I am the um, brand manager for jobs in the UK, looking after the phlebology portfolio. Um, and I work for ST, who are one of the principal sponsors of Legs Matter. Lovely, thanks so much. And we can't do any of our work without our sponsorship um, and partnership with the industry. So thank you, Elliot. Um, well, I'm just going to share my screen now. Um, and so Kate and Elliot, let me know if this works. All right. So slideshow. Yeah. I'm just trying to get to the slideshow and from the beginning. So here we are. Perfect. Lovely, thank you. So Lex Matter Road, so launched then. So what is this all about? So this is going to be in partnership uh, with Essity, um, which we're, we're really pleased to have this collaboration. And this is the three of us. So this is myself, Kate and Elliot. Um, we've kind of been thinking about how we'd like to deliver this uh, road show across um, the United Kingdom, so going to all four nations. Um, and we just, we put together this slide just to kind of allow you to understand a little bit more about what, what we're hoping to achieve. And of course, it is all in a combination with our campaign at Legs Matter, which is this kind of raise the alarm on harm, you know, reduce the harm on patients um, and supportive, um, supportive education and care and, you know, trying to sort of uh, help each other in providing the best care we can for the, the leg and foot. Um, so the Legs Matter Roadshow then is going to kick off in September this year. So this is uh, the launch today, uh, raising awareness of it, and then you can get yourselves booked on uh, to attend one of our events. We're raising the alarm on the hidden harm. So we're thinking about our 10 point plan and we'll go into our 10 point plan and what we're trying to do at Legs Matter to really combat the harm um, that we feel is happening within the UK. Um, and then the Legs Matter, we're doing this in combination with Essity and it's supported by Huntley Healthcare on some of our events. So it's really nice to see the combination of industry partners working with us um, to best provide um, this education session. We're going to have an interactive roadshow. So we're going to have members of the coalition come along and support it. And we're going to go take our Legs Matter L on tour across the UK. Um, and the, the main aim really is to think about developing confidence and start your capability skills in the safe application of compression. You know, we talk a lot about compression um, with, you know, complex disease management. But what we're thinking here is to build confidence um, in the basics of compression so that we feel we can start to deliver care um, at the first stages of venous change. Um, and the idea is that we're going to try and really promote this to podiatrists and community nurses so we can think about collaborating together uh, to, you know, to best um, prevent deterioration of venous disease in, in our patients. So, so to actually prevent getting the chronic disease stage or the, you know, the sort of really nasty ulcerations that we might see um, and which of course then has a detrimental impact on, on the patient. So this is what we're all about. And um, we hope that you'll you know, like the sessions. Each event, so we've got a few events and Kate and Elliot will explain some of those in the coming up slides. It's gonna, um, hope we're gonna have an educational uh, agenda. And the idea is that we're going to try and provide an overview of the physiology and pathophysiology of peripheral arterial disease and also the venous systems in the lower limb. And that's to enable us to, to realise that we're, when we ensure that we have good blood supply, that we'll be able to apply the compression. Um, and then, of course, what the compression will do to best support the leg and uh, the lower limb. We'll also have attendees carrying out holistic lower limb assessment. And, and also we're going to identify red flags. So we're going to, you know, bring us back to that national wound care strategy program where they, you know, quite rightly put together that red flag list of what we need to look out for. 
before we apply compression or, or when we do have a red flag pop up, how we can actually refer on. So we're really going to start to sort of develop the, these this sort of frontline um, front sort of management and treatment modalities. We're going to try and gain an understanding of the basics of compression therapy and how it can support the prevention of leg ulcer development and the management of venous disease. So we're going to, you know, it's, this is really the first stages of your compression journey. So this is for the for people that might not feel confident in applying compression or might not know where they can get compression form or compression pose reform. This is really beginning to kind of the first steps. I think one of the reasons for me why it felt quite important is that podiatrists and community community teams sit out as your front line now. And we're seeing a lot of patients coming into our services and um, both in the independent practice, probably more so in the independent practice than maybe NHS. And that's an anecdotal thing, but I'd imagine my independent colleague, private practice colleagues would agree with that, is that we're beginning to see more complex patients turning up um, and we need to try and prevent them deteriorating. So actually understanding how we can best support them in this first frontline journey with compression actually might be um, or will be supportive of our NHS colleagues because we'll be preventing the referrals in. But really, this is where this concept kind of came from. And one of the things that I guess maybe we hadn't yet entered into was how we can provide compression hosiery within our clinics. Um, and that's where, you know, um, Essity are going to help support sort of maybe e-commerce, give you some ideas about where you can try and get your compression from. So it's really the beginning journey. So, and then because, of course, it's the beginning journey, we want not just to sort of stand and lecture, um, but more a case of actually having hands-on practical skills. We will uh, have an agenda for the day. And Elliot, I think you're going to go through the agenda with us. Yep, so thanks, Joe. Hi, everyone. Um, so I think, as Joe um, obviously mentioned previously, the goal of these events is very much to provide a solid foundation of knowledge um, and practical skills for you to build on um, around the areas of like vascular um, and compression therapy. Um, I think... The agenda has been more tailored towards, I suppose, prevention, the maintenance phases. Um, so kind of recognising um, the issues early to try to prevent it from um, escalating. And again, um, those patients you see who benefit from compression long term, again, to prevent um, the, the um, vascular disease pro progressing as well. Um, I think, as you can see here, we've got an overview of the, comp of the circulatory system, um, again, to try give you an understanding of how compression therapy can be used, um, but also as why the issues actually occur, and again, how they impact leg health, um, just to give you a really solid um, to baseline there. We'll then move into um, the assessments, that'll include ABPI um, of the patient. Again, we can then use that information to see which patients would be appropriate for compression therapy, um, moving into, again, how to measure for it and how to select the right garment. Um, the goal, I suppose, in terms of this is, is really to simplify um, this therapy area. I think for many people, it seems very complex um, due to obviously the terms used, garment types, measuring, um, a whole area, a whole like, wave of different elements. But I think the way we've got, we're going to structure this, which we've done previously at the University of Huddersfield when we did something similar, um, was to really just kind of break it down. Um, theory, um, information on compression and then obviously mixed in with some practical to make sure you get the hands on um and again it's very much education for because this isn't going to be a, a sales pitch it's very much going to be um clinical education and then um a generic kind of generic size kind of um brands etc um there will be a bit of um, potential pre-reading as well which we'll send out but this is just purely optional um it's just if you want to um, do some work beforehand um or you can access it afterwards as a bit of, as a bit of a refresher as well Lovely, thank you. Nothing like a little bit of free reading, is there, Kate? <laughs> I love it. Everyone loves a bit of free reading. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've got, we've got a lovely um, agenda here for you, and you can see how we've really tried to break it up into a nice day. So things like, as Elliot said, looking more at anatomy, physiology, you know, a little bit about the patient assessment. Then the National Wound Care Strategy Programme kicks in with its red flags, referrals, the importance of an MDT. But then, of course, because we're trying to aim this at frontline staff um, and first, you know, first appointment in your community clinics, we're going to give you some hands on practical skills to feel confident. So that's it's lovely and it's great to be part of this. And, and Kate, you know, what are the best yes. skills that we're going to be picking up? So the, I think one of the things we really want to do on this roadshow is it's 
I mean, it is so important that you've got an understanding of the pathophysiology and the theory behind this, but we want to try and inspire you to go on and become competent in assessing lower limbs, particularly those of you who might not typically have thought of it as part of your role. So uh, particularly private uh, podiatrists, um, community nurses is accepted as part of your role. <laughs> but um, for some clinicians, private podiatry being one group, this might be really new to think about the lower limb assessment rather than just the foot and ankle and to really kind of move on to develop your skills and your capabilities so that you can have as much as anything. Yes, there'll be the hands-on skills. So we'll be all there. You'll be practicing on each other, very hands-on. It's quite a small group that we're having a maximum of 30. So the sessions themselves, will, there'll be lots of support with measuring for hosiery, understanding different types of hosiery, doing ABPI, recognizing red flags, all those clinical assessment skills you'll be having a go at. But for me, a lot of it is about you developing the skills of conversation <laughs> with patients about this. So if you understand it, understanding the why and the real importance of this early intervention, then you can have much better conversations with your patients. So what we don't want at the end of this is you having a you know great go at practical skills and starting to build up your um, capability. That's one side of it, but the other side of it is having that confidence to have really good conversations with your patients to explain why you now are suggesting a compression hosiery when they just came in to have their feet looked at. They might think, what, what, sorry, I only came to have my feet looked at and now you're telling me I need to wear this stock. So it's just the ability to have really good conversations with patients so that they take this on as a lifelong health promotion message and it's not just a one-off appointment with you and then they go away and they just put it in the drawer that's that's not going to change anything we need the public to be empowered and we need you to do that so the practical skills is one part of it which will be great but it all links into the conversations that you have with your patients so that they get it as well as you yeah thanks kate so the shared decision making process and of course, the practical side will be that safe administration to an early yeah. intervention to prevent disease. But it's a, it's all about shared decision making, isn't it? As you say, the patient. In fact, I think I've had one this morning. I sort of had a conversation, and the, they weren't they weren't. I hadn't convinced them, put it that way, at the time. So, <laughs> but I said I could revisit the conversation. So uh, yeah. there we go. So we're building my skills there too. So, um, so that's lovely. So we've got we have got some practical sessions, and you know, I think the important thing here, I and mean, you. I mean, do you agree, Kate, that, that no question is too silly at this stage? Oh, my gosh, no, they're it? the best questions because everybody's thinking it, but nobody wants to ask. Yeah. So this is a real back to basics, starting from the beginning. Um, there's never a silly question and just really getting a really solid, basic level understanding of the A&P, pathophysiology, and then safe administration. It's... It's just getting them really good at the basics and then you can just build and build on that once you've got that foundation. Yeah, lovely. And that's part of our strategy, of course, at Legs Matter, isn't it? That early intervention, safe administration, and then our phase three is considering chronic disease. So this particular programme of work sits within that early intervention and safe administration sort of section of our strategy that you might see advertised throughout the week. So thank you for that. We'll go on to that next. So um, Elliot, where are we off to? Where are we taking the bus? Where's the L going on? <laughs> so the L, L is going on tour in five different locations. Um, the way we selected these was very much um, trying to make it as accessible as possible um, for the clinicians across the four nations. So as you can see, we've got one event in Scotland, two in the north, of, sorry, two in England, one north, one south, one, uh, one location in Cardiff and one location in Belfast. At the moment, the Belfast event is looking like the Queen's University. We're just currently discussing with them. Um, but that that may that may change. We're just we're just in the final stages of that. And in terms of the first date, it was the sixth of September, um, which will be at the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons in Glasgow. Um, after this, we will be launching the um, event registrations um, within the next two weeks. So um, you'll be able to register your interest, and then the event you select, um, obviously, you'll get information on that and how to register for that. And as Joe mentioned, we've also got. Um, support from the coalition 
Um, so for each event there, you can see which um, coalition organization we were supporting um, and which member um, of the coalition team will be coming. So Kate, you're, you'll be attending um, Manchester. I'll be in the North. And, yeah, you'll be in the North <laughs> and um, we'll have various, as I say, various involvement from members of the coalition as well. So it'll be like a nice mix of, I suppose, SAT and um, the Legs Matter team as well. Yeah, that's it's lovely. Um, it's lovely to see. It's and it's great actually. I mean, one of the things um, that, that our strategy is that the what each member organisation tries to take lead on a particular event throughout Legs Matter Week and throughout the the year. Um, and so the Royal College of Podiatry uh, Kent branch is going to host um, in September. So we'll be looking forward to coming down and joining our colleagues down in uh, in Kent on twentieth. But of course, it is open to um, colleagues that are interested in compression that want to learn and build the capabilities. Um, so please do join in, spread the word, spread the message. There's five events and you never know, if we can persuade any of there might be a few more, but let's see how well it goes. Um, yep. So this all links to our 10 point plan, Kate, doesn't it? How does it fit in this, these sessions? It does. So you may or may not be aware of our 10 point plan. If not, please go and have a look on the website because it really, it's just summarizes what we're actually trying to achieve at as legs matter as an organization so we everything that we try and do we link back to our 10 point plan so the structure of the roadshow means that we're actually ticking quite a lot of boxes as a 10 point plan so the main four there are the things that we jump out the most to us so we are certainly covering immediate and necessary care so these these points are there to try and help you as clinicians, help organisations really plan how they're going to end the hidden harm crisis that we have in front of us. So it's so important that when you're, you can use that document to plan how you run training sessions in your organisation, how you write your strategy, how you develop services. So for us, we always keep referring back to it because we like we hope that organisations will do the same. So we're doing immediate and necessary care. So this is for us at the end of these sessions, we are hoping that you will be much more confident at what is required to give immediate and necessary care and try and prevent future health problems, as Joe said. If we could only capture that these patients earlier when they first start developing signs of venous hypertension, first signs of um dependency edema, particularly in elderly people with reduced mobility. If we can catch these patients then and empower them or they empower their carers so that they understand how important hosiery is, then we can really stop this developing into more serious lower limb conditions. So the immediate and necessary care is the first one that jumps out. Um, making sure every patient has access to evidence-based practice. There's, Pockets of care across the country are so good, so good, but then there's pockets that aren't good. And there's, we still at Legs Matter receive emails from patients and relatives and of examples where the patient has really been let down by the system. So we want to, part of our 10 point plan is to make sure that every patient has the access, has access to evidence-based practice. And this roadshow will help upskill clinicians so that more patients have access to that level of care. Then, increasing access to the right products at the right time. So an understanding of the products is half of the problem, to be honest. So again, on part of these roadshows, our ST colleagues will be going through different products that you can access to help patients. So it's just more knowledge, more understanding, knowledge is power, as they say, um, to really help these patients at a much earlier stage. And then the final point that we linked from our plan to these roadshows is point Seven, addressing systemat systematic, sorry, can't speak, knowledge and skills gaps. So again, it's just bridging that gap, um, plugging the holes, you might say, in people's knowledge and skills so that we can really achieve what we're trying to achieve, which is get rid of this hidden harm crisis and upskill people to be empowered. Lovely. Thanks, Kate. It's really nice to see how it's come together, this brochure, actually, with our template. Yeah. Stuff our overall strategy isn't it it's great um, to keep linking it back to 10 yeah. point plan because it it really it helps us organize things so it can surely help organizations organize things as well yeah it keeps us focused 
yeah um, messaging raise the alarm on harm and let's try and do everything we can to prevent it so um right so now that we've you know, wave the little carrot in front of you all and you're all tempted by coming along how do you get registered so to, you, to secure your place now you need to send an expression of interest and you can register your place on the legs matter website we do have a qr code on the next slide so hold your horses or if you're a quick typer you can type in that into your um into your search engine the registrations the registration link will be shared across all of our legs matter channels so from this launch now we will be spreading the, the news far and wide to how people can start registering their interest. Um, you can choose the event location you wish to attend and complete the registration form. And for a Brucey bonus prize, it's £10. That's it. And it goes all to charity. So ST have been very kind um, in saying that anybody that books onto our events, uh, it's uh, £10 for a ticket, a £2 booking fee, which is non-refundable, I'm afraid, if you decide that you are not able to attend, but it's £10. And then all of that goes to our Legs Matter charity, which, you know, uh, supports the, the great mission that we're trying to do uh, at Legs Matter in reducing the impact of harm. So that is an absolute steal of a, of a day. It's a whole day, remember? So the whole day, 9, nine till 4.30, I think, 9.30, 4.30, something along those lines. Um, and you get to go away with a good idea and understanding of how you might be able to support your patients in reducing that impact um, of venous hypertension or lower limb uh, dependency. So, you know, let's see what we can do. So from now, you can go and register your interest and there's the QR code. So snap away on your phones. Hopefully that works. If it doesn't, let us know in the chat. Um, but you should certainly be able to go onto the events page with Legs Matter and be able to register your interest there at which event you would like to attend. Everyone snapped away from what their place. I'll keep it on for a few more seconds, see if you can get, get hold of the QR code there. But um, I know we're, we are, I, all of the coalition sort of memberships are, are really excited about this roadshow, aren't they, Kate? It's sort of, it, it it's is, well, it's bugs, a mixture too. of excitement and nerves. It's like anything you plan, it's like planning a party. You hope people will come. Um, yeah. But then um, we, we don't know what to expect. Do things will be really popular, and if they are, we'll certainly continue it. Um, I saw one question pop up in the chat about um, potentially doing, I didn't read it fully, potentially doing um, virtual events, but we want these to be real hands-on um, where you're practising clinical skills. So yeah. if the demand is such, which would be fabulous, um, if the demand was such that these were oversubscribed, then we'd certainly look at continuing them and repeating them. It's um, It could be something we can do long-term if it's a yeah. people, if it's people find it useful yes no exactly and it is it is really i can't really hone this in more and i might have already said it about a million times already during this presentation but it really is about building your skill the skill that you may not have at all and just feeling confident that you can have one the conversation as kate rightly says but then two an awareness about what you might need to do to sort of apply safe compression um, yeah. you know so you feel confident in that you feel that you know actually I do know what to do I do know where I can get some garments from I do know how to have that conversation and as coalition members we're all here to support you on that journey alongside of course SET who's partnership with us um, and you know and supported with supported with Huntley at some of our events so the potential for this is enormous the, the impact it could have on so many people because the patients that I see are much further down the line yeah. And but so many of them, when you really talk to them and their families and dig back to how this all started, and even as a, the daughter of a, an elderly relative, um, I know myself that managing lower limb edema in elderly and reduced mobility patients is it's it needs doing properly and you need to be confident and capable to do that. And so the potential for positive impact from these sessions is just enormous really really is enormous if we could catch patients much much earlier yeah yeah of course you know and, and think, being well, able to sorry Elliot go on I was going to say I think as well just to your point obviously about building links with obviously the coalition and it's also like building links between yourselves as well um so obviously the, yeah. the, the people who attend these events again um speak to your peers make connections with your peers again obviously the SC team are all here to help if you want to learn who your local um, local compression therapy specialist um, we can help with that as well so it's about building links with not just i suppose legs matter but um yourselves and um 
the industry partners as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's um. It's a. It's, I think it's a brilliant opportunity, and and so often you hear, I hear, you know, podiatrists saying to me, you know, I, I don't feel confident in applying compression. I wouldn't know where to start, and this is literally the beginning of that. Yeah. yeah. This is where to start. Just the beginning, yeah. If, if, if you are confident in applying compression, this isn't the event for you. That might be the one that we do with chronic disease compression. Yeah. So this one is literally about starting your journey. And, well, let's start now. Get yourself registered. So there we are. Does anybody have any questions in the audience? I can't see any questions because I'm showing my screen. So, I'll, oh, that's the one up here. Um, I'm still thrilled about the logo on wheels. <laughs> uh, I think everybody's stunned. <laughs> I think it'll be interesting though, won't it, to see, uh, it'd be lovely to see podiatrists here joining. Oh our gosh, yeah, it really would, really yeah. would, especially the private, I just feel like um, the group, I suppose it might be even quite isolating. Yeah, yes. As a whole. I, I mean, one of the things that could be, you know, I think might be sort of beneficial, especially if you are an independent practice, is to think about how you might be able to develop a bit of a business idea around it. You know, so it could be that you actually start working with your colleagues and your community or primary care colleagues to actually sort of say, well, actually, I can provide with compression hosiery garments. You know, I, I can yeah. I can offer that in my service. You know, often I've provided a, an ankle brachial index for a patient and then they've gone to their GP and been given that prescription. But actually some patients are choosing to come privately now and are happy to purchase um, the garments. Some aren't, yeah. so it's a shared decision-making process that's a discussion to have. But is there something in your practice that you might be able to add to? You know, we offer, you know, advice on all sorts of different aspects of foot and, and leg health. And actually this is just another one so if you haven't felt or if you feel like this is a journey that you might like to enter into then we'd love to see you there's a question there from emma joe um yeah emma donna he reese has asked um, i'm a student nurse this is okay for me to attend absolutely emma yes um yeah. that's perfect for you because it is right at the beginning it is starting the journey and you'll be learning so much but even to make the most of these events, whatever clinical background you are, whether you are a private podiatrist, student nurse, whoever, don't forget that there's going to be clinicians there. So I'll be at some, Joel will be at some, there's um, vascular nurses at some, depending where the events are. There'll be really experienced clinicians there. And you can have a chat with us, say, I'm a student nurse, what should I do next? Or I'm a community nurse, what do you think I should be doing next? So just make the opportunity of having us there to ask questions about your own personal learning and we can really guide you and help you get really confident at this but so that was a really long way of saying yes Emma it is okay <laughs> for, for you to attend well that's great thank you so much for your questions and um I think we can probably close it now I look forward to seeing you all as we travel around the country <laughs> <laughs>